guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my February favorites video. So first I'm going to be talking about my app of the month, which is an app called Ibotta. And I've talked about Ibotta before. I stopped using it for a while and then I came back to it because it is a great way to save money. And a lot of you always ask me how to save money, how to make sure that you, you know, keep your coins. So I feel like this is one of those apps that you like really need, especially if you like to grocery shop or you grocery shop a lot. But cashback is basically the best way to make the most of your money. You're not only buying things, but you're getting money back on things that you buy regularly. Once you grocery shop so much, that stuff adds up. Little 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar here and there back adds up over time. So I unlocked this Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I bought Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If I have that on my receipt, all I have to do is verify, click verify purchases. You scan the barcode on the item that you purchased and then you scan your receipt and then you get your cash back within like 48 hours. And then after you get so much money in your account to where you can withdraw, you go to withdraw and you can withdraw up to PayPal, Venmo, or you can get gift cards like to Best Buy or you can get like movie gift cards, iTunes gift cards, whatever you want um, with your cash back. Quick and easy, fast and simple. So for every person that signs up through your referral, they get um, $10 on their first rebate and then you get $5. Another favorite app of mine is a really simple app and it's just called Daily Water. And basically it keeps up with your water intake. So you can set reminders to let you know um, when you need to drink water. I have a reminder for every two hours. So I always have my water by me. This one has strawberries, raspberries, and lemon in it. And I try to make sure to drink as much water as possible. And if you're not hydrated, then you suck. Basically, that's how my day goes. But um, you can have it synced to your Apple Watch as well and it will alert you via watch. You need to drink some water. The Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. I used it so much. However, I noticed that when I first bought it and I was wearing it, I was wearing it with turtlenecks. If you know me, you know I love my turtlenecks, but at the same time, my neck was covered up. So I couldn't see the fact that the foundation matched my face perfectly, but not my neck. My face was actually darker than the rest of my body. But it is a really good foundation. I feel like it's very good for oily skin. Um, if you were looking for something that's not overly drying, but it's still matte at the same time. It's the new ColourPop Ultra Satin Lippies. If you guys wanted to check those lip colors out, be sure to as soon as possible because they're, they're selling out of a lot of the colors. So you want to make sure you get the good ones. This one is my favorite. The one I have on right now is color called Mess Around. Um, this one and Magic Wand and Echo Park I think are the ones that I've been wearing the most. Of course because they're new. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that I got the wrong color. I need ebony and I got granite. It's a black but it's like a ashy. It's ashy. It's kind of grayish. I have to do a lot of manipulation to the color to make it look perf. I use a brow gel, a brown brow gel on top of it to kind of tone it down a little bit. Other than that, the formula, like the actual product itself is a good product. If you have sparse brows, I would not recommend this only because like this does not look like brow hairs when you apply it because of the thickness of the actual pencil itself. I would say that the brow whiz is better for people with skinnier, thinner, sparse brows but it works well for me because I already have brows I just need to fill them in uh this is something that I don't like and I haven't done a yay and a nay kind of thing in a long time um I used to do my yays and nays for the month this is Kat Von D Lolita 2 I do not like this color on me this is Lolita 2 actually my bad apparently I got the wrong one because this one is very rosy it's almost like a terracotta color and I do not like those kinds of lip colors on me. That's just not my fave. I like more muted colors, not so much rosy colors. This shade on me is not my favorite. It's just not. This is Nivea uh, Shave Balm for Men and it's the sensitive. A lot of different people on YouTube have been trying this because of Nikki. Um, she accidentally discovered this hidden gem. It's an aftershave to prevent ingrown hairs and whatever men's aftershave is supposed to do. Okay, I'm not a man, so I wouldn't know. It has a very man cologne -y, like it smells like men's fragrance, but not like strong like cologne. It smells like the men's lotion version of a fragrance. 
It smells like if a man sprayed on some cologne and then six hours later you smelled him. Once you put your makeup on, you can't smell it, so it doesn't matter. If you needed something that was gonna help your makeup stay on better, this is what this would be for. I will have to keep trying and giving you the verdict on it, but you guys let me know. If you've been using this, let me know how you like it and let me know what you think. Cause I'm interested to know if this is actually working for me or if I just want it to work because it works for everyone else. So I have some makeup removers um, that I've been trying out. First of all, I have this uh, towel thingy and I've mentioned this before, I feel like. I've mentioned this before. It's dirty cause I used it last night. But um, this is the makeup eraser. All you have to do is wet it and wipe off your makeup. And it works really, really well. I was very shocked and surprised at how easy this took my makeup off. Um, and, I'm, and I haven't stopped using it since I bought it. So I really like that. I got it from Sephora. I've also been enjoying using this with micellar water. Now, I bought my first bottle of micellar water from H&M. And who knew H&M had micellar water, right? I've, I've only been using it for like a week and it's already half full. This was $5.99 and I thought that, that was a good deal until I went to Walgreens and I saw this micellar water. Was it Walgreens or Target? This one was $5.99 as well and it's obviously much bigger. So I'm kind of regretting buying this. I'll probably put this in a separate container and use it for traveling. Either way, they work the same. I really like micellar water. I feel like it really helps to get off all of your eye makeup, um, whether it's waterproof or not. And that's really helpful because at night I get tired and I don't want to take off my eye makeup because it takes so long. But I feel like this helps to get it off so much quicker. Another product that I've been loving is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. I've been using this every other day. I have a whole skincare routine that I'm gonna be talking about with you guys soon. So be staying tuned for that. I don't know, it just it, it really does a good job of cleansing my pores. I don't get blackheads or whiteheads nearly as much with this product. My pores are decongested. I don't have a whole lot of like texture as much as I used to. I still have a few bumps here and there, but the texture of my skin is changing a lot and my pores are a lot smaller from what I noticed. So I feel like this had a lot to do with that. And because I'm in this whole moisturizing kick, I got this Benefit Hydrating Mist. When I wake up and I wash my face, I don't I don't completely wash it, if that makes sense. And that sounds dirty and nasty, but if you cleansed your face the night before, breeze stripping your face of all of the natural oils and things like that is just doing more harm to your skin. So in the morning time, I don't deep clean my face. I'll run water over my face and give it a good rinse. Um, and then afterwards, I will use this on a cotton ball or I'll just spray it all over my face, let my face do its thing. I like it because it's a toner, but it's not drying. It actually makes my skin feel soft and supple after I use it. So this has been one of my favorites to use just to pamper my skin in the morning um, when I want it to be more moisturized. And I've been talking about these products over and over again because I cannot get enough of them. I use them all the time and you probably have noticed that they really are helping my skin to clear like as far as my dark spots and, and discoloration and things like that. My forehead is still really bad and I'm still working on it so that's why I haven't really just jumped up to say oh my god my face is clear again because no that's not true. Um, it's a work in progress. But the rest of my face is clearing up really, really well as far as my dark spots go. And I think it has to do with this combination right here. This is the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. Got It's 2% hydroquinone, so I feel like that's what really does it. I'm all out of this serum, so I need to go get the full size now because it's that good. I used this first. After I washed my face, I put this on. This is 10% glycolic acid cream. I put this on top. Then I put on my moisturizer. These two together have really been helping to repair my skin. This in particular, what I've noticed that this glycolic acid cream really does for me, it just helps my skin to repair itself better. So even when I get breakouts, new breakouts or new pimples, new dark spots, they fade and they go away a lot quicker than they would before. It doesn't necessarily stop my skin from breaking out, but it does help repair my skin 
faster than if I wasn't using it. I feel like this really helps keep the dark spots to a minimum and keep the breakouts to a minimum because my skin is repairing so quickly. And that's what glycolic acid does. It helps to repair your skin because your skin utilizes glycolic acid to make new cells when you're sleeping. Since I've been on YouTube, I've been talking about this product. I stop using it every now and then because I feel like my skin gets used to it and doesn't really work with it anymore. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. So for my grocery favorite for the month, I have this Suja Juice. If you do not follow me on Snapchat, then you've never seen me talk about this before. But I love these juices. You can find these at Target. Uh, or select grocery stores. I'm not sure which ones near you. I really like these because they are so good but they're really healthy for you. I think what I really like about these is that you can tell that these are organic natural cold pressed juices because they separate immediately. Like if you leave it sitting for less than five minutes they separate so you have to shake it up before you drink it. This one is the Renewal Step 3. This is the Twilight Protein one and this one has fruit and almond in it so it does have protein in it. It's been my mission this year to gain weight so I've been adding protein to everything. This is the only one that I have left. It's the end of the week so I don't have my other flavors with me to show you guys but the green one, Green Delight. If you're gonna try one I suggest you try Green Delight or very goodness because those two are my favorites green delight especially i hate eating vegetables so drinking them is the best way for me to get them down um like you know just on a regular day when i don't feel like preparing anything or going to get a salad or something i mean i know some people to drink them as meal replacements i'm too little for that so obviously i drink these in between my meals and i love them so that's my grocery favorite i buy like five of these a week and they make me feel good when I drink them like I actually get energy from those I have a show last month my show was I didn't mention it but last month my show was Parks and Rec I'm almost done with Parks and Rec this month we've been watching The Flash and if you guys have never seen The Flash check it out on Netflix watch season one and then get caught up on season two on your whatever cable service you have because I think it comes it's only available on cable right now but me and Cam love some of The Flash okay we watched The Flash every night we're finally getting caught up to the second season so now we're watching it on demand on tv but i'm pretty sure you can find season one on still on netflix if you love superhero shows or superhero movies it is based on the dc comic the flash so it is a comic book kind of thing and you guys know i'm a tomboy so i love me some action and i love superhero movies so i've really been loving the flash me and Cameron are both super into it, okay? So let's all watch it so we can all talk about it. So I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you guys have any suggestions for something I should try based on something that I showed you in this video, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. And yeah, shout out to my Scope Squad. If you follow me on Periscope, I've been doing a lot of like get ready with me's and stuff on there and just random Periscope sessions where we just sit and we have girl talk and y'all we have so much fun talking on Periscope. So I mean I, I've been having a lot of fun on Periscope this month. Shout out to my Scope Squad, they helped me get ready today even though today was just not working with me but it's fine. We got it done so that's all that matters. So yeah that's all. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up. Otherwise I will talk to you guys in my next one okay? Bye!